this is Teacher Wing, and today we're going to practice yoga with back joy tools. So, one in my hand is back joy massage ball, and in my right, we have back joy sit right, and in my left, I have a back joy sit smart. So what we have in this to help us to get a proper alignment and working to improve our strength and flexibility to keep it balanced, right? So let's uh, do some variations with me and if you find it difficult, I want you to go easy on yourself like taking options or taking a break, right? Great. So let's begin with uh, this one, six mat. So taking a six mat position underneath your buttons, why? Keeping them to the side where you have more space to it. <laughs> okay, now I'm here wanting you to stretch one of the legs, any leg, it could be left, it could be right. Five. Now I want you to work on rotating the shoulders twice. And take a deep inhale. Lifting chest up. Chest up. Chest up and turning, exhale, keep turning, keep turning your shoulders. See, I'm finding myself to rise at the same time I want to rotate. But at the same time, I want to feel my hips well grounded, right? I want my sitting bones feeling the cushion impact. Nice. And from there, come back center. Now we're going to do one more to the right. What we're going to do, taking the right hand to the left knee and taking your left arm over. Now finding again one more time in here and exhale. So you go as far as you can. If you can reach for the far, yes. If you're not, you can just stay half. Find that outer oblique as much. Now and breathe. Three, two, and one. All right, now come back center. Now I want you to raise your arms up. Always remember to find that core engagement and feel this back is long. And then follow. Now here, if you find that very difficult to wish your foot, I want you to wrap your ankle or wrap your knee. Doesn't matter wherever you are. You can hold there and breathe, breathe out in comfort place. If you find easy, moving your elbows, elbows closer. And more closer. So every time you exhale, I want you to move closer like you want to reach. Great, isn't it? I want you to breathe here for five. Four. Allow yourself to stretch the lower back and hamstring. Three. Two. And one. Gently rise. Beautiful. All right, now from there, we're going to change the side. Now stretch your other side. Now I'm going with the my left. So you choose the opposite, okay? What other side you're doing? Doesn't matter. Please change the side. All right, so you first go for the twist to help you to release that muscle ache from your back. So it sends the signals to your body properly. Good. So go for a twist. Rotate your shoulders. So when you rotate the shoulders, what happens in the spine is collapse. So I don't want it to collapse. I want it to rise, 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 rise. And rotate your shoulders opposite. So your back shoulder moving back, front shoulder moving front. So it's going opposite that. Five reps. Four. Three. Two. And one, gently turn around. Again, you go for the side stretch to allow yourself to breathe more in your lungs. So taking the opposite hand, so my left hand holds my right knee, raise. So when you're doing this, feel the oblique muscle stretching. You can pause here. Don't have to go further than this, but if you find easy, I want you to go a little bit to the side, towards the opposite where you can feel that oblique muscles are stretching and find your pad, right? You want to feel the sitting bones on the floor. I don't want you to fly up. You can even hold that. I'm keeping your knee down. Stretch. Three, two, and one. Gently move up. All right, now from there, we're going to do a forward bend. So again, find yourself upright. Please don't collapse. So this cause you a little bit of stress in your body, unconsciously. I want you to lift, find your sitting bones. 
right? Because you have very well cushion, right? See the cushion pad? Find your cushion pad and walk. You can wrap the foot or you lengthen arms in half and wrap your foot whichever you way. And fall exactly. If it is too much, start the pad. Fall. If it is too hard, wrap the knee or ankle, okay? Don't worry about taking your option. Three. Good. Keep moving, keep moving, strengthen and lengthen. Strengthen and lengthen. Two. Strengthen and lengthen. Exhale. What? Great. So one, once you come back into the royal style sitting position, but remember your toes being uh, tucked, right? So where you can feel that like toes being stretching, very helpful. And your knee being pushed in with the uh, joy. Happy joy. Good. Now we want to go for some more shoulders and some more legs. I'm going to give you a basic steps. So what you do here, I want you to use your right hand because the right leg is in front, right hand up. Fold it and then take your left hand back and lock. So when you're doing lock, you can see me from the back view. It's going to be looking like this. But if you think this is difficult, we can use the option of massage bar. So because it has more option to open and close, right? So you can even hold it like this. Can you hold it? Very good. And breathe for five. If you can, go deeper. Four. Three. Nice, two, and one, okay, one, one, and relax your toes. Relax your toes and release your hands. You see me here? Now, we're gonna do some more stretching. So taking the left hand back and holding the right leg. Can you do that? I guess you can, but if you can't do it, you just take the hand here and right hand in the front and open your chest to look up. Right, so it's more like you're looking from the side view, it's more like you're here. You can see me? This is what you want to do. Just only for five minutes. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. And one. Gently come up. Very nice. Now from there, we're going to do the next step, which is stretching for the inner thigh. So open the right leg up. So it's more likely coming up into the side. And we're going to do a deeper one. Stretch your arm and lean. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Gently come up. You're feeling great. Now taking the right leg back. You stress the side, now we do a twist again. It works for the obliques as well for the shoulder as well for the hands. So let's do a twist. So from here, I want you to take the back leg in again to the center position in front and rotate your shoulder to twist. But remember the knee is cushioned, right? So you don't have to do things so much. If you feel it harder, you can stay hard. But if you feel easy, stay low. Good. Now, from there, take your hands front and then point your front leg. Sit straight, okay? And walk your hands. Last one, okay? I want you to pause here or pause here. You can even hold something to find the balance, but make sure your knee is cushioned, right? And follow up. If you can't, I want you to point your toes. Last one, guys. Up. Four. Three. Feel the leg. Two. And one, okay, very nice. Take your left hand in, left leg back, okay. So this is the point you can use this like cushioning one. I love it. Take a break. 